Uh, thank you for introduction. Uh, my name is Ivan Song. Uh, today, I'm honored to introduce our recent work, uh, Communication Efficient Unconditional MPC with Guaranteed Auto Delivery, co-authored with Vipogoya and Yan Yi Liu. <coughs> Multi-party competitions allow several mutually distrusted parties to securely evaluate a function on their private inputs. So it guarantees that the protocol execution does not leak anything about their individual inputs beyond what can be inferred from the function outputs. So in this work, we consider the setting where n parties would like to evaluate an arithmetic circuit or a finite field. We assume the existence of private channels between every pair of parties. We aim to construct a protocol with um, against one third corruption with unconditional security and output delivery guarantee. So we stress that fairness and output delivery guarantee are crucial in many settings. For example, um, for voting and coin flipping, if without fairness or output delivery guarantee, malicious parties can simply abort if the result is not satisfactory. For fair contract signing, malicious parties can receive the signed contract while preventing honest parties from receiving it. In this way, malicious parties can violate the contract while honest parties cannot. So our goal is to construct a communication efficient protocol. This is supported by the following observation. So in the unconditional setting, local computations are typically simple, often just a series of linear operations. Therefore, the efficiency of a protocol in the real world is dominated by its communication complexity. So by representing the, uh, the functionality as an arithmetic circuit, there are two main types of gates we need to handle, addition gates and the multiplication gates. Addition gates are typically free, requiring no communication. Therefore, the communication complexity depends up on the number of multiplication gates in the circuit. So it leads us to the following question. Is it possible to construct unconditional MPC with guaranteed output delivery for one third corruption such that the communication complexity per multiplication gate is linear in the number of parties? Having linear communication complexity means that the work done by a single party is independent of the number of parties participating in the computation. And as a result, the circuit, sorry, the protocol is fully scalable. Previously best known result in this setting was provided by Chubini O1 Hertz in 2008. So in their construction, they provided uh, their protocol is, their protocol has communication complexity order of C times N plus DM times N square plus N cube. Here C is the size of the circuit and DM is the depth of the circuit. So we note that when the circuit is narrow and deep, dm times n square becomes the dominating term, and the communication complexity per multiplication gate can be as high as order of n square. Unfortunately, this term dm times n square appears in many previous works. It led Ben Sanson, Fair, and Ostrowski to ask whether this term is inherent in their work in 2012. So in this work, we gave the first construction where the communication complexity per multiplication gate is linear in the number of parties. Concretely, our protocol has communication complexity order of C times N plus N cube. So this represents a strict improvement over the previously best known result. For convenience, we use square bracket A with subscript D to represent a D plus one out of N Shamir circuit sharing, referred as a D sharing. Uh, let the sh shares be A1, A2 to AN, especially the S, part, the S party a, uh, PI holds the S share AI. It is no well known that when T is smaller than N by 3, a T sharing can always be reconstructed, even if some T shares are incorrect. Before introducing our main techniques, we would like to mention two useful techniques which are well used to construct efficient MPC with output delivery guarantee in the unconditional setting. The first one is party elimination framework. It was first introduced in the, um, in the work of Hurt, Maurer, 
predict attack in 2000. So it is a general strategy to efficiently achieve perfect security. The first step is partitioning the whole circuit into several segments. All these segments will be, re, uh, will be evaluated in sequence. After evaluating one segment, all parties reach a consensus on whether the evaluation is successful or not. Say, if it is successful, then all parties can continue to evaluate the next segment. Otherwise, a pair of parties who do not agree with each other, referred as disputed parties, is identified. Disputed parties will not participate in the rest of the computation, and the same segment will be re-evaluated. So in this way, we only need to focus on how to find a pair of disputed parties when a failure occurs. The second technique is Beaver Triple. It was first introduced in the work of Beaver in 1991. A Beaver Triple consists of three T-shared rings, A, B, and C. Here, A, B are two random field elements, and the C equals to A times B. To compute a multiplication gate with input sharings X and Y, all parties need to reconstruct two t sharings X plus A and Y plus B. Then, the output sharing C can be represented by using two values, X plus A, Y plus B, and three t sharings A, B, and C. Note that, these techniques transform one multiplication operation into two reconstruction operations. Now let's have a quick review of the construction of Trubini O1 and Hurt. After preparing enough Beaver triples during the preparation phase, the main task is to reconstruct several t sharings for multiplication gates. In their work, they provided a protocol to reconstruct a batch of t sharings at one time. The overall cost per batch is order of n square, and as a result, the average cost per gate is just order of n. However, only multiplication gates in one layer can be handled each time. Since each layer requires at least order of n square communication, there is an overhead order of dm times n square in their construction. To overcome this barrier, our starting idea is letting, is, let, uh, is letting one party do all reconstruction. A special party picking is selected in the beginning. Then to reconstruct the T-sharing, say X plus A, picking simply collects all shares from the rest of the parties, reconstructs the result, and sends the result back to them. In this way, the cost per gate is just order of N, even if only one gate is evaluated. However, if PQ is corrupted, then PQ may distribute an incorrect value, or even send different values to different parties. It means that we need to check the correctness of the reconstructions. Worse still, we find that this check is actually required every layer. Without the check, not only the correctness cannot be guaranteed, but also a malicious picking can learn the full value of an internal wear of the circuit. We gave an explicit attack in our work for this simple two-level circuits, which computes x times y times w. The main security issue is that a t-sharing has too much redundancy. Picking only needs t plus one shares to reconstruct a t-sharing, and even recover every shares of this sharing. The high-level idea of our attack is letting a malicious picking send an incorrect value to one honest party. Since this party uses an incorrect value, further shares provided by this party are also incorrect. However, Peking can use all shares except the share from this party to reconstruct the T-sharing and compute the correct share that this party should hold. By comparing the correct value and the incorrect value of this party, Peking can actually gain extra information. Note that each check is a consensus. That is, all parties should agree on whether the evaluation is successful or not. It is knowing that reaching a consensus requires at least n square communication. Therefore, we still have this dm times n square overhead in our construction. 
to avoid this check every layer, the high-level uh, high level idea of our construction is using n out of n6 sharing. In this way, we can remove the redundancy of t sharings and avoid the attack mentioned above. However, without redundancy, cheating becomes easier and finding a cheater becomes harder. We need to increase the redundancy to find the cheater. To this end, we rely on for consistency, a new technique to increase the redundancy of an unautomatic sharing on demand. Recall that a T-sharing can always be reconstructed even if some T-shares are incorrect. In other words, T-sharings have enough redundancy. The basic idea of full consistency is using additional three T-sharings to commit the shares of an unautomatic sharing. So we first partition all shares into three parts, and then we expand each part to be a valid T-sharing. In this way, every share can be recovered. We will include more details later. So first of all, we, we use n out of n6 sharings, referred as n sharing, to avoid the check every layer. We include two additional n sharings in a bureau triple, an n sharing of the value a and an n sharing of the value b. When evaluating one multiplication gate, instead of reconstructing two t sharings, x plus a and y plus b, all parties reconstruct two n sharings, the t sharing x plus the n sharing a, and the t sharing y plus the n sharing b. Note that the shares sent by honest parties are just the several independent and uniformly random elements. Therefore, all parties can securely evaluate multiple layers of multiplication gates, even if picking is corrupted. As before, further check is still necessary. We first check whether picking sends the same values to all other parties. If this check passes, then all the output sharings of multiplication gates are valid T sharings. Then we need to check the correctness of all reconstructions. To do this, all, part, all parties simply recompute all reconstructions by using T sharings, x plus a and y plus b. We can simply use the protocol in the work of Trubini O1 and Hertz. Note that the difference is that we have already computed a valid T sharing for each where. It means that we can do all reconstructions in parallel and the layer restriction in the work of Trubini O1 and Hertz disappears. <clears throat> so if the check fails, then all parties automatically reach a consensus on the first incorrect reconstruction, say it is xs star plus as star. There are two possibilities. A malicious picking may distribute an incorrect value, or some corrupted party may send an incorrect share when picking reconstructed the t sharing xs star plus the n sharing as star. Since it is an n out of n6 sharing, any party can send a wrong share without being caught. In other words, the redundancy of an unautomatic sharing is not enough to find a cheater. Therefore, we need to go back to see how these unautomatic sharings are generated. We use square bracket AS star with subscript T and N to represent two, two sharings of the same value AS star. One is a T sharing and the other one is an N sharing. We refer these two sharings as double sharings. In the beginning, each party i generates and distributes double sharings of a random element si. Let m be a hyperinvertible matrix. Then the double sharings of a1, a2 to an can be computed by multiplying m and the double sharings of, s, uh, of the double um, generated by each party. Especially. The so double sharings of AS star can be computed by multiplying the S star's row of M and the vector of double sharings generated by each party. Recall that 
a T-shirt ring can always be reconstructed, even if some T-shirts are incorrect. Therefore, T-shirt rings has, have enough redundancy. We only need to focus on N-shirt rings. Our goal is to be able to recover every share of an N-shirt -share, ring SI for every I. We observed that a T-shirt ring has enough redundancy, and a T-shirt ring is determined by T plus 1 shares. By listing all shares as the matrix, each row is a valid n sharing, and each party holds shares in one column. We may partition this matrix into three parts, such that each part contains at most t plus one columns. To increase the redundancy, say for the rest of the matrix, we can expand each row to be a valid t sharing. This new matrix can be seen as the robust version of the rest of the matrix and every share can be recovered no matter how crowded parties behave. Similarly, we may generate two other matrices as the robust versions of the yellow submatrix and the green submatrix. With these three matrices, every share of the original matrix can be recovered. Let the last matrix be all T sharings, S1, S2 to Sn. For every I, we call these four T sharings, SI0, SI1, SI2, and SI3, a four, consist a four consistent tuple of sharings. Formally, a tuple of sharings, S0, S1, S2, S3, is four consistent with respect to a partition of all parties where the size of each set is at most T plus one. If it satisfies that, the shares of S1 held by parties in P1, the shares of S2 held by parties in P2, and the shares of S3 held by parties in P3 form a valid n sharing of the value S0. We note that for consistency is preserved under linear operations. Each party I generates and distributes three additional T sharings, SI1, SI2, and SI3 such that together with the T-sharing SI, these four T-sharings is a four consistent tuple, and the corresponding N-sharing is the N-sharing SI. In this way, each party uses a four consistent tuple to commit the shares of the N-sharing it generated. Since four consistency is preserved under linear operations, we can compute a four consistent tuple of AI star as the commitment of the ensuring AI star. Finally, all parties locally compute three T sharings, XS star plus AI star one, XS star plus AI star two, and XS star plus AI star three. Then they send their shares to Peking. Note that these three T sharings can be seen as the robust version of the T sharing XS star plus the ensuring AI star. With these three T-sharings, Peking is able to recover every share of the T-sharing XS star plus the N-sharing AS star and find the party who sent the wrong share. As a summary, we first use N out of N secret sharings to, to securely evaluate multiple layers of multiplication gates. Then we need to check the correctness of reconstructions. In the case that some reconstruction is incorrect, we use full consistency to increase the redundancy of an n out of six sharing. And finally, we can find the cheater also relying on full consistency. Thank you. Questions? Okay, we have no questions. Let's thank all speakers of the session.